Hello everyone. In this video, let us see how to design database from objects and relationships. Basically, here we have got a relationship that is one to many. Now, if you take any project, whether it is a small project with two to three tables or a very big project with 200 to 300 tables you won't find more than two relationship or you say more than two kinds of relationship one is one to many and the second is many to many second type of relationship is many to many now you might be thinking of what about many to one if i reverse that again it will become one to many so that's why i say we have two kinds of relationship one is one to many another is many to many there are three basic rules of designing database first rule is one table for each object and second rule for one to many and third rule for many to many that's it so designing database out of objects and relationship is damn easy the big deal is you need to identify objects and relationships among objects from the requirement. Now let us see the three rules. First rule is one table for each object. That means I have three objects here, user, category, URL. So I'll get three tables. Second rule is for one to many relationship. In one to many relationship, one will become master that means master table and m will become child table what does it mean it means category will become master table and url will become child table which means primary key of one that is primary key of master table will act as a foreign key of many table that is child table Now let us take an example here, say department and employee, here we have one to many relationship because one department can have n number of employees whereas one employee cannot belongs to n number of department. So this is true, this is false. If both of them are true then only the final relationship n to n will become true but here this is true and this is false that means this is also false. So the relationship is one to many relationship. One will become master table and many will become child table. So department table, I, I'll have department ID, department name and description. And for employee, I'll have employee ID, employee name, employee salary. And now you can see this department ID, which is primary key here will become foreign key here because this is your child table. That's it. This is the rule for one to many relationship. Third rule is for many to many relationship. In many to many relationship, both the objects will become master and there will be one more table called as transaction table or child table with primary keys of masters as foreign key in it. Means what? Both the objects will become master. And we are going to create a new table which will be child of both the masters. Now let us take an example. Student and course. Now here the relationship is something like this. One student can join a number of courses and one course can be opted by a number of students. So both the cases it is true. If both the cases is true then many to many relationship is true. So in this case, both of them will become master and I will take both primary keys from student and course and create a new table called as transaction table where I will be maintaining the information about what student has taken what course. So I have got student table where student ID is primary key here and the next is course table where course ID is primary key here. Now I'll take both the columns 
and make another table that is student course table this is the child table where student id will be acting as a foreign key here and course id will be acting as a foreign key here this says so and so student has opted for so and so course that's it now following these rules i can design database so i have got user table category table and url table now you can see that one user can upload n number of urls so user will become master and url will become child so user id will act as a foreign key here now one category can have n number of urls so category table will become master and url will become child that's it this is my database design which is very simple now you can see one more column here role now if the role value is a then this user is an admin if the role value is u or something then the user is a normal user so i can differentiate that so this is the database design that i have user i have user id which is primary key here user email will act as a username and password is normal password and role will say what type of user it is i have url table in this i have fields url id url title the actual url and description and to what category this url belongs to that is category id is foreign key and who has uploaded this url or submitted this url that is user that is foreign key again so this is acting foreign key here and this primary key is acting as a foreign key here is approved so initially once they have submitted this is approved is p or pending once it is approved then we'll change it to a or some some code we'll use and finally the category table with category id category name and description so this is a simple database structure that i have i'm going to implement this in our next video thank you very much